this is what pissed me off even more is the way he came about it. If you got a problem, just tell me straight up. He was beating around the bush. I've lived here the last three years, and well, that was um interesting right there. What? It's on a little friend. <laughs> did you see? No, did you see that guy? <laughs> Dude, I don't know if I got that on video. You might have to blurt out. At this moment, Norm realized that he was looking at a full-grown man, butt naked. Yo, what's poppin', folks? Welcome to another video. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this one. If you're new to this channel, smash that freaking subscribe button, hit the like button, and also hit the notification bell. Well, today, I got my two boys with me. a dub fishing right here. And then we got old fishing with Norm. Hey, yo, we're right going here. bassing today, people. We go with bassing, folks. And we're gonna try to catch some big fish. This is a searching for giants video. I haven't filmed one in such a long time, so I was like, today, we're gonna be going out, searching for the big bass, and I have a little twist on it today. All right, A-Dub, so show them the lures that we're using today. Yes, sir. If you guys are wondering, this is the Super 6 box by Six Cents. I've said yes, it before, sir. I'll say it again. The best box out there, hands down, no bull crap, all premium baits. If you guys wanna get a big discount, I'll pop it up on the screen. I promise you it's gonna save you a lot of money. And this is hands down the best box out there. There's not even a question to ask, you I mean, know? It's, it's, it's the juice is in here, man. It's, it's the juice. I mean, it's all premium baits. They're gonna last a while. All the paint jobs, the hooks on them are amazing. And, you know, I'd highly suggest, yes, even if you're with another company, I would check out this. You know, I'd check it out, go look at it, and uh, we're gonna show you what's inside of it today. Let's see what we got. Oh, baby. We got a bunch of stuff mm. in there today. We got a bunch. Look at this. Oh, baby. Look at this. What is that? Is that it's a rod glove? rod sleeve right there. Oh, that's cool. All right. Got a little trap. Dude, we got a bunch of crap in here, man. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Whoa. Look at that. We got six lures and a rod sleeve, and they are looking juicy. So, can I pick one? Yeah, you can pick one, but. Wait, which, you already have one of mine. Don't yeah, you? And I have the one that you have in mind. So, you can use the lipless crank. Yeah, it's a lipless. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, guys, I'm going to go ahead and pick mine out, the one that I'm going to be throwing. And this is the Quake Thud 70 by six cents right here. That thing is amazing. I've actually been killing them on this recently, um, but it was in more of a shad pattern. Um, the exact name of this is Jungle Rose, and that one is looking hot, baby. So uh, this is what I'm gonna tie on. We're gonna be putting this one on my Mach 2 combo right here by Luz. If you wanna check them out, you can check them out as well. All right, Norm, so what are you gonna? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what? I gotta go second. Uh, the swim jig. All right. Cool, cool. What is this, like a golden shiner color or something like that? I don't yeah. know what they call it uh, at six cents. I hate you. The gizzard flash, dude. That thing looks money. I love throwing a swim jig. As soon as I saw that, I knew it. But there's also another swim jig here. Or is this, that's a hybrid That's jig, a hybrid right? jig, yeah. But, Which, I wanted the swim jig. You wanted oh, the swim jig, Ada? It's okay. I can catch them. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry buddy. So, so I'm, I'm looking at these two, but we need to decide. Should I go with the, the, with the jig or the underspin? They're both kind of similar to the swim jig, though. So should I just like go with a crankbait or? Um, see, this is my thing. I think you could get away with a crankbait. I do. Um, you know, this one, smaller little square bill right here. This is the Crush Mini. And then you got the Cloud Nine Mini Mag right here. And that's in a great color for this time of the year. You know that. Mm -hmm. um, that's a big crankbait though. I'm trying to think, man, you know, maybe if we go to a different area, the first area we're gonna start off with, I don't know if these are gonna be the best baits for that. Um, if I was you, to be completely honest, I would throw the underspin, bro, but that's just me. I mean, it's all up to you, bro. You can either get a jig, but this, this guy's right here. You guys know all the videos, you know, this year, the last like six months, I've caught some toads on this jig. Did you catch your um, PB on that one? Uh, yes. I No, no, no. I was using a different jig because I ended up breaking this one off. But uh, yeah, I did catch a seven on it this year. Remember I was with yeah. you? He's got it. Oh my gosh, Norm. Yo, giant Norm, giant. Yeah, Noah has a freaking tank on. Holy cow. Just film for me. Film for I'm me. filming, I'm filming, I'm filming. Dude, that's that might be your PB, bro. Here, I can go down and grab him if you need me to. You got him? <laughs> My GoPro died. My GoPro died. He's bigger, or he's smaller than I thought he was. That's still a freaking tank, dude. I thought it was like a 12 pound. Look at that, guys. I'm gonna show you guys that my camera died right when I hook set him. But... All right. Really? Are you kidding me? I thought he would be at least eight. He's seven. Yeah. Seven on the. I didn't even show the camera, did I? No. Oh, it's, it's still showing seven. Oh yeah. Seven on the money. He's just not fat. I guess but so. I swore he 
would have been eight pounds. I remember um, you had those jigs in your box that snapped like seven of them off. <laughs> pile, but I caught some tanks on it though. Yeah. So uh, yeah, dude, the underspin I think would be really good. I got some swim baits in the back of my truck that have fit well on that. And I just think, you know, overall this time of year as well, you know, fish eating shad, shad fish chasing bait, and it, it's just going to get them. And I've actually caught them on this pond on an underspin. I've used the regular fish head and uh, completely smacked them. So I think that's going to work pretty well for you. That's probably the snazziest looking swim jig I've ever seen. Like for real though, look at that paint job on there. Yeah, that thing's, that thing's that thing clean, bro. That thing is freaking bro. fresh. I'm excited for this. That's going to be, it's going to be the sauce. I've never been here before, but I'm... I still know it's gonna be All right, if I had the swim baits, I might have ran out, but oh, I needed no. to check my box. But I have a swim bait that will literally, it, it would look amazing on there. All right. Like the perfect color. I, do I have any in my pocket? No, I normally have like, <laughs> in all my pairs of shorts, there's like eight soft plastics <laughs> in every single, oh. oh! Calm down, bro. Careful. All right. We're good. The box in the back left, right? I, yeah, I don't understand how the box got back there. We have tackle everywhere in the back of my truck. We've been filming so much the last like what six days dude everything just starts getting lost after like the six day mark because we're running low on sleep and we're just fishing everywhere and we just start losing stuff or at least i do but yeah back back Speak left for yourself there normie yeah you got it buddy we had to send norm in there because he's got the long arms man i do have the world's longest wingspan it's a proven fact <laughs> give it to a dub bro a little skinny bro. give it to a dub bro a dub's looking a little skinny too here Oh my god, that's the biggest piece of beef jerky I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Don't choke, bro. You scared me. <laughs> the whole steak. I'm trying to rig up my swim bait. Mm. It's extra tender, bro. What do you think? How's the review? Out of five so stars, good. what do you think? Out of five stars. <laughs> um, I don't know. Are we including price? Because beef jerky is pretty expensive. Yeah, beef you got him? Oh! You had one bite you too? God, Norm is hooked up with a swim jig. Oh, he's not bad, bro. There we go. That's a solid two pounder. Dude, solid one. Let's go, dude. That might, that's a two and a half. Yeah, he's fat. First cast in the middle, ain't it? Yeah. Did you, so you got hit too? Yeah, I got hit twice. There's little shad baits right there. Look at that. Check dude, that, that out, is bro. a fatty, bro. That's oh, a look, two. This one just came right out. That's a solid two and a half pounder. He's freezing cold too, bro. Like, touch, <laughs> give him a touch. Is he? Oh dang, <laughs> he's an icy Thank boy. You. Pretty That's fish, sweet. bro. Good job, man. That's that was up, good. Bro. That was right off the bat. Norm just threw out there. He's like, oh, I got him. <laughs> lips are red too. He's wearing the lipstick. Oh, he is. Yep. That underspin and that swim jig is probably going to yeah, tear him up. Cool. Good job, Norm. Got. Yeah. Broke the ice, baby. Good Let's party, get it. Baby. Dude, got him. <laughs> Dude, the swim jig is doing it. I thought he was off for a second, guys, just because he felt like he didn't even feel like a fish. He was just that light. He didn't fight at all. But when I set the hook, I couldn't even feel him. But heck, I will take it, man. That's the thing about a swim jig, guys, is instead of a chatterbait, this thing is silent. So I love fishing this thing in like pressured lakes and stuff like that. A lot of people will throw loud baits, but if you throw a more natural bait, a lot of times you'll be able to catch these fish. And we literally caught that right behind the uh, the rattle trap there, which is honestly surprising. I love the rattle trap. It's the best bait in the whole entire world. But anyways, we're going to let this guy go. See you, Boop. Dude, I'm talking about, like, when I set the hook, I thought I, I didn't have him. <laughs> I thought I missed him when I set the hook. Yeah. Ooh. Dude, I just had another one right here. Got him. Got him. Guys, that's the second cast in a row. No. <laughs> Dude, they are just attacking this swim jig right here. They're hitting it so soft, too. I mean, just the softest I've ever had a swim jig bite before. But, hey, we'll take it, man. We'll take it. That's a fat one, too. Dude, they're, they're all super healthy out here. That's cool. See you, bub. One of my favorite things about the swim bait, guys, is that you got two actions on here. Instead of just throwing like a swim bait on a jig head where all you have is this tail wagging action, you also have this skirt on here. Just makes it look more realistic. We got the end of that brush pile. Yep. I feel like a decent one. On the swim jig, boys, I switched with Norm. I was like, dude, let me give this thing a shot real quick. I just think it's the subtle approach of the swim jig. Ooh, little fat guy. Dude, they're munching that swim jig. Look at that. It is just crazy how, 
you know guys it's a little slower day i know we're trying to search for these giants we haven't got them yet but you know this is the process of it and we should eventually be able to hook a good one but they're just munching the swim jig if you guys are wondering about the conditions it's actually overcast today a bunch Ooh. of on the trap you oh, got him oh oh my god so he actually hit the trap right there oh he nailed it oh my god dang bro look at that little fatty <laughs> that is such a little football oh my gosh well guys that's four on the swim jig nothing on anything else right now Come on, fish. Give me a big in. Come on. Oh, yo, yo, yo. Dude, this dog, little French bulldog just charged me. No, no. I got a French bulldog chasing me. He's so cute. Yeah, he ran out of the backyard. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't even know how he got out, dude. Look how cute he is. He just wants to play. Look at him. What? <laughs> What is he doing? He just he wanted to play. Ran through that fence. I heard a big bang and I see a dog run down the side of the bank. Hey, hey. I take him back? Yeah. Let's just walk over here. <laughs> we got a little friend. Oh no, he thinks I'm. Oh jeez. Hey, buddy. Oh, he's excited. He's excited because I sat down. <laughs> Sit down and we'll get super excited. What's up? What's up? So, guys, uh. I don't know. So we were just right here. Wait, here. hold up. They're in the backyard. Let's let them know. Yeah, tell them. Come here, baby. You like busted out of the fence right here. Come here. <laughs> How can I love you? At this moment, Norm realized that he was looking at a full grown man, butt naked. <laughs> well, that was um, interesting right there. What? I found a little friend. <laughs> did you see? No, did you see that guy? Dude, I don't know if I got that on video. You might have to blurt out. That dude comes out in his backyard, guys. His dog runs out. This man is butt naked. Like, I mean, I'm talking nothing. He's just got his hand over his junk. He's like, oh, she busts out the fence all the time. Dude, what just happened, bro? What? Dude, I, dude, I never in my life. That's the weirdest thing that's happened to me while fishing. What's going on is a real question. Like, that man, I, 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 dude, we can't say that on YouTube, but I mean. Whoa. <laughs> I didn't even notice for the first 10 seconds. I just heard Adam. his voice. Here's Adam. Adam is not gonna, dude, we gotta tell Adam. Just so you understand what happened. Bro, he was we heard him, so we're like. He was lit. Dude, there wasn't a piece of clothing on that man. I don't think there was socks. I've never seen just a stranger naked before. I don't think ever. All right, that was interesting, man. I like this dog, though. <laughs> this just, he wasn't even, like, embarrassed. He just walked out naked. He's out. He's... That was hilarious, dude. That, that was. Definitely one of the craziest things. He was having a full on conversation with us without clothes on. He didn't even care. Hey, <laughs> Dub. Yo. Yo. He's a giant. <laughs> he <laughs> snags him. How you doing? What's up? I come back here every once in a while. I live just right there. I live right there. It's a pretty day outside. All right, you have a good one. I mean, I, I've came out here the last three years. Okay. What kind of is that? <laughs> Dude, I've fished here for three years. I have never had one person complain. Not one. The reason I moved in here is so I can fish here. We're in the water. We ain't standing on his... Huh? How you doing? I'll come over to you real quick. How you doing, brother? Doing good. 
just like two seconds ago, there was a guy who came out here. I've lived here the last three years, and yeah. the reason I moved here is so I can fish because this is what I do for a living. So yeah. I've never had a problem, and everybody's been kind and nice. I've talked to the homeowners, and they're cool about it. So you guys live in the area? Okay. Yes, sir. I live right over there um, in so this cul de sac. Any rules about fishing? Nah. I mean, I know the people at the homeowners, and we were talking about stocking the ponds. <laughs> exactly. So. Yeah, I mean, I've... Call saying that there was people screaming outside the house. Yeah, he came out a second ago, and I talked to him, and he was like, yeah, he's like, just keep that in mind that, you know, some people might not want you fishing here. I was like, all right, yeah, for yeah. sure. But I don't know exactly. They call, and they refuse. They don't want to talk to me. Yeah, we don't even know who called 911. No, it was that. Well, it had to have been exactly. that guy. Yeah. Because we were just... We've was been out... like, uh, aggressive or something? Yeah, I mean, he came off a little rude. What's your name, man? Yeah, Noah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Take care. Nice you to get, meet you. What wow. kind of fish you got here? You said you fish bass, for a living? Yes, sir. I do. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we make make some videos on it, but very blessed, man. It's yeah, it's awesome. Fun. It's been uh it's been eight years since I've since I've started it, so it's wow. it's been a while. Now I'm even more pissed I came out here because I want to be doing. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you guys want to go fishing sometime, just just kicking their bass TV. You just send me a message. We'll go fishing. You have a good one, man. Well. That was interesting. I don't under I don't understand I don't understand the point of that whole like why he came out literally twenty seconds before they did. Like, how about you come out and talk to me first? Like I've I've lived here for three years, buddy. Like I do I've I've literally fished. Yeah, because he was like, where'd you guys come from? I'm like, my house? Like, I've literally kayak fished here for three years, bro. I literally have my own house in here. <laughs> Dude, I've fished here. So he probably just came off of work because it's Friday. What time is it? Probably heard you, like, go, oh, or something. Yeah, we haven't been loud since we've been out here. I mean, I just talked to you across the pond a few times, but that's about it. And the thing, this is what pissed me off even more, is the way he came about it. If you got a problem, just tell me straight up. He was beating around the bush. You know what I mean? He's like, just keep that in mind. I was like, okay, we'll keep what in mind really, you know? I haven't, like I've fished out here for three years, bro. I've, the reason I moved in this neighborhood was to fish this pond. Like I moved on a pond for a reason. <laughs> I mean, would he rather me be standing in his backyard or on a kayak? Now I'm done with all you said. All you wanted was my bread. Got me messed up in it.